Okay, 31917 North 64th. This is the large house, no HOA. Uh, it's off of a dirt road here on North 64th. So it's a little bit rustic getting out here. But you're getting a lot of house for your money. And you're getting a four-car garage as well. So as you can see, even the circular driveway here is mostly just dirt. There are some pavers right in the front leading up to the entry. Kind of a circular walkthrough with a gate. I guess you could lock this if you wanted to. And you would come into a fenced courtyard. It's a fireplace out here. Some fans. So a couple doors that's leading into a different space. This is the front door. So this is a huge courtyard on the front. Coming inside. Got some detail on the tile and some stonework. Kind of a grand entrance here. This house is huge. High ceilings, lots of light. Some built-ins over on the far there, left over there. Fireplace, TV mount, slider to the back. Off to the right here, you have the kitchen. Quite a few skylights in here. Then looking back towards the front door. Got double ovens. Built-in micro. Looks like an electric cooktop. And the island is the dishwasher. And then you have a mirror on the wall over here within the breakfast nook area. Those are windows leading out. This room is huge. And off of the kitchen, you have more of a form formal dining room. That leads back out to the courtyard, those French doors. And off the hall here, you have laundry room, skylight making it bright. Looks like it has central back based on that hose over there. Up to the garage, massive garage, four car. Water softener. Finished sealed flooring, got built-ins. Across from the garage, leads into the master. Fireplace in the master. And then you have one of the walk-in closets. This one's actually kind of in the master, just off of the master room some built-ins. And then leading into the master bath, there's more of like a linen style closet there. One of the sinks, grand tub area, some columns. The second sink. Here's the second walk-in master closet. Just huge. You need a lot of clothes to fill this up. That leads out to the backyard. 
that looks to the backyard. And then we have the master shower. Window. Good size. Right across is the single toilet room. All right, back through the kitchen. Living space to the other side of the house. So kind of off the front door is a, technically it's a bedroom because there is a closet in here, but there's two doors on it. It could be an office. Another bedroom. Interior door for the shower toilet. These are all good sized bedrooms. Definitely could hold king beds. Looks like this one has kind of a walk in closet there. Built ins. So this wraps around the office space. So go back to the other bedroom in the office. Or if you go left, it takes you back around to the living area and the kitchen space. It's hard, it's hard to give perspective, but that, that room, the office room goes all the way through and then you can go around the hallway and access the other rooms that way. This is probably my favorite feature of the house so far. Looks like the hidden room hiding behind the bookcase. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So there's another, another master over here, which also goes out to this back. Has its own ensuite. Not as grand as the other side, but still nice. And a very large walk-in closet with a skylight in the hidden room. There's also actually behind the hidden door, there's a closet here too. Like a linen closet. Really big lot. Could definitely fit a pool back here. And then I went up the spiral staircase and you have a nice lookout patio up here. With some nice views out in the distance.